Hey fashion lovers, welcome to the Fashion Try-On. If you want to support our channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you like any of the items you see, be sure to check the description for links and discounts. Today we are continuing our search for the best small leather good or SLG coin card pouch. Today we are trying out the Louis Vuitton card holder recto verso in Damier Eben, the brown color. Now this also comes in a monogram and print color in black as well as a monogram. Now the criteria for this search is that we can find the smallest but most functional small leather good or coin pouch. I've ordered quite a few on Louis Vuitton to give them a try and want to share the exact unboxing with you. Now, as you may have seen in the other unboxing of these small leather goods, when you check out at Louis Vuitton, you can ask to include a bag and some gift options. They actually didn't include those with this order, so I was a little surprised, but if you wanna see how that option would arrive, be sure to check out one of those videos. Now, unboxing this card holder for the first time, I have to say I was a little underwhelmed and a little let down. Now, let me explain what I mean. Because of our criteria looking for the most organization, this one seemed like a dream. It has a separate snap pouch on the outside, it has some organization on the back side, and then it has some additional organization with that center zip pocket. Now, first and foremost, I just overall wish that this was maybe 25% smaller. And second, I wish it was a little bit more flexible. So as you're seeing with this exterior snap pouch area, it was very tight that I could barely fit my fingers in. Like I could barely separate it to even put a card in. And you'll see that a little bit later when we start to unpack it. The same thing happened with the center zip pocket. Now I do understand that if you start to use it, it might relax a little bit, but because it's canvas and it's not leather, I don't know how much it's actually going to relax. If you have this and you like it and you have some experience with it, or even if you don't like it, let us know in the comments below, you know, what the pros and cons are from your perspective so that we can all learn together. Now it does have that lovely Louis Vuitton stamp on the inside, so I just wanted to show you that really quickly. And then let's take a look at kind of filling this up. So as I mentioned in some other unboxings, we are going to use these coupons as a proxy for credit cards. So we can fit four credit cards in the inside and as you can see, it is already kind of full. We're also gonna put some bills in here and you can see that it is really just getting filled up really quickly. So overall, the functionality of the inside is not my favorite. We went ahead and threw in an Advil in there and it kind of feels like it went over the top. You can see that it bulges on the outside. Now we also have the key holder inside there. So if you don't want that flopping around, that also takes up some space. So just keep that in mind. Now, as we saw with the Noah card holder, we could fit our pillbox, but in this one, we are definitely not getting that in there. And we just tried out a scrunchie to see if it would work. And it does work, but it's not the greatest. Now, if we actually zip it up, you can see kind of the full impact. But overall, I think we already know that this one is kind of a pass. Now let's go ahead and take some of those cards and try to put them in the outside pocket. So as I mentioned, it is really hard to get anything in there and I don't know if it relaxes. I imagine it might a little bit, but you're kind of going to be stretching out the overall formation of the wallet. So I don't know if that's really, you know, what you want to do anyway. So I could fit a card in kind of one at a time and two is all I really felt comfortable putting in there. So I don't really know what you would put in that front pocket if you can't really fit anything. And then the same story happens with the back card holders. It's kind of the same as the Romy card holder that we also unbox on the fashion try on. So be sure to check that one out as well. Overall, not really my favorite thing to have these external card holders. I thought that it would be really nice and really, you know, organizational and optimized but it just added volume and honestly like a little bit of disorganization and stress so if that sounds like something that you would experience given what i'm explaining be sure to avoid this one and the Romy as well now per usual we are going to test out packing up our new 2024 salmer and we are going to throw in all of the essentials and maybe some unessentials but we just want to see how much we can fit in here along with our card holder now, as you saw in the other unboxings, the other card holders fit in a lot more comfortably. This one still fits, but it is a larger piece, so it is going to take up more space. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop an emoji in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe.